something unique. The first one we do with, uh, with Montebello. So we have a partnership with the club from Guadeloupe. Yeah, those guys. You guys? They have selected one barrel from the distillery. So this is 11 and a half. We like in France, we do uh, yeah. 0.5. Just like little kids who like to say, no, 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 I'm not 11. I'm in 11 and a half. Um, only ex bourbon barrel. And I don't know if you know about the aging method of Montebello, but we store all the barrel inside metal containers. So the barrels go into a metal container? Yes. Wow, okay. That container is way more hot, yeah. so the interaction between the wood and the rum is accelerated. Okay. We also have a higher angel share in that case. We lose 12% per year. Wow. So it, this is not even the duppy share anymore, it's madness share. Crazy duppy, super duppy. Super duppy. Yeah. And yeah, so that's very limited edition, one cask, 300 bottle. That's been given for the members of the club. Wow. <laughs> Pure agriculture. It is, yeah, but on initial taste, you get that initial honey, miel, uh, sweetness, and then it dries off. But you think it's going to be short, but it carries on going. It's beautiful, beautiful balance. Spices. Oh. But it does have what's called vanilla notes, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting to get some vanilla notes on there as well. And you, so this is American oak, not French oak. Yeah, American. Wow, so that's where the vanilla's come from. So we can see that we lose a bit the spine of the grassiness yeah. from that nice agricultural yeah. rum. Yeah. But it turns more something floral, but the, the cask brings that uh, fresh bread. But it, it, it still retains the natural spiciness you get from a really good age agricole, whether it's in French oak or an American oak. So obviously not as extreme as a, a French oak, some say your cognac class and that's having American oak is going to give you something else but it still has that spiciness at the end which is a nice balance of the fruitiness on the initial taste so it definitely works it definitely works so this has been bottled at 50 percent ABV yeah, yeah. and well. without adding without adding any sugar color flavors mm. of course no this for the fee this is a sweet rum but not a sweetened yes rum. I agree. I big difference sweet rum this is naturally sweet this is from the integration of the barrels integration of the liquid and the flavor profile that's come inside this so. oh, beautiful wow wow so if you like it you will not be able to buy anyone I know. any of those i know <laughs> how many bottles did you do 300 300 is that it oh, only shit. one barrel just yeah, for the all. a lot of people is it just for the club the barrels yes. Yeah? yes yes so i have to be a member of the club to get some when you want to come uh... yeah. <laughs> yes, you have to be good looking and French to be a member of the club, so I'm not going to be able to make that twice. I'm going to be able to... <laughs> if you come back to Guadeloupe, uh, I'll be possible. in Guadeloupe uh, on the 19th of June. Really? Oh, yeah. Am I going to be there? 19th of June for Concourse Mondial, so I'll be there for five days. Ah, the, the Belgium. Uh, Wet. Nice. Oh, yeah. I will be there. Yeah, I'll be there for five days. Monday to, and I leave on Friday. So I'll be there Sunday before yeah. to drink. I'll be coming to see the birds in the distilleries, and uh, yeah, then I leave on the Friday. So I need to warm up my liver. Warm up your liver. Warm up your liver. Everything. Hide the daughters. No, didn't, you didn't catch that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And what do you think of the rum? Well, it's very good. <laughs> it's uh, it in here? Yeah. it's uh, us, yeah, us uh, shoes. Okay. Uh, it's a good shoes. Yeah. And why did you pick this barrel? Why did you pick this barrel? Wow! Ah, uh, it's a beautiful uh, barrel. <laughs> no, it's grandi au goût. On a goûté plusieurs. He enjoyed the taste. Okay, so you tried different samples. Yes, yes, different yes. Samples and said this one is the best one. We start uh, with something different, a uh, little bit higher in age but they wanted something a bit more full-bodied with yeah. the ABB yeah. because we have a big problem at the distillery is because of that aging in the container we have a lot of humidity so the angel chair is based on uh, alcohol so the ABB is going down very fast we lose two percent per year so um, that's more recent that we start to uh, fill barrel with a higher IBD rum. Okay. So it's actually the second bottle ever from the distillery, bottle at more than 50% IBD for that type of age. Brilliant, brilliant. And so they, we give them different samples, they tried, they had the first selection, a second selection, and then with COVID, we were supposed to bottle it, and like problem with uh, sourcing the bottle, the label, yeah. so it take more, we put it back in the barrel to finish, and it's why it's 11 and a half, because it's 11 years, plus another, we take it out of the cask, put it back for a Great year. job, really good job, really good job.
We have to bring them to London. I don't Do think they can support the cold. <laughs> In the future, we'll do some, uh, some we'll do a, a joint club, London club. Yeah. Yeah. club. Why not? Why not? Uh, we'll get them joined up with a club in London doing exchange, exchanging. But yeah, great job, really good job. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Désolé, Madame Martin, d'avoir perdu tout mon anglais. Désolé, je reprendrai. <laughs>